Source for all the stuff you care about. My name is Temporary. Hey! I'm Olivia Munn. We are coming to you live from the G4 Studios in Los Angeles. Good to have you back there, Skirt. Nice to see you. Somebody's got a dinner date at the Applebee's. Oh. I'm really excited. Gonna be eating Point good in that date. neighborhood. Match.com. You know oh. Really excited. J Date. <laughs> I was kicked off of J Date. It's weird. Yeah. On the show today, Mom Prawn. Ew, wait. Wait, oh, no, no it's, it's Gadgetron. Yes, Gadgetron yeah, for moms. because we're reviewing gifts for Mother's Day all week. Hey. And today we'll rate the Visit Digital Photo Frame, the 3G wireless frame with a 10-inch touch screen. New pictures will make up for the, the fact that you just don't call home. You call home, though, a lot, don't you, Kevin? Uh, I don't know how you define a lot, but, you know, every hour on the hour. <laughs> I miss my mother. <laughs> And if it's Tuesday, that means it's actually DB Tuesday. Hey! This week he's got the Sen 2 and the BBC Horror Series Survivors. Mm, and then later, hello, <laughs> Allison Hayslip went to Honda's research and development headquarters to test the Segway Killer. Mm. Oh! Uh, I believe the Segway killed itself. I mean, seriously, like to kill a Segway, you just have to be able to ride it without looking, looking completely ridiculous. The Segway but, killed itself. Fair enough. Plus, Jorge Garcia from Lost Yay! will be here live in our studio. We'll actually find out whether or not the AOTS curse strike again. Oh. Mm. Mm. Creepy fingers. Mm -hmm. I know. It's always known on the playground. <laughs> Still known that way on the playground, to be honest. Yeah. Would you like to run down the top five things on the web? I would love to go around the internet with you. <laughs> I, I, I turn men gay. That's my thing. It's true. And at number five today, we bring you a game of chicken between a man and motorbike. Mm, yeah, word of advice. Don't bet on the ball bag. <laughs> no. That's a tragedy. Yeah. That, man, that man couldn't masturbate on chat roulette for like three months after that. <laughs> chat roulette. That's awesome. But at least the, the helmet protected that rider from getting tea bags. So. Oh, look at you. Look at you only seeing the bright side of a terribly humiliating collision that likely rendered that dude impotent. That's cool to be that. I'm like the Pollyanna of G4. <laughs> I think that analogy means that eventually you get struck down by a motor car and lose the use of your legs, though. So... <laughs> I just I haven't Netflix in a while, but stupid. <laughs> wait, wait for the Twitter wall to light up with wow. all the Pollyanna fans wow. out there in our demo. Just give it a minute. It's a, it's a little delay. They have to go. Omg, Pollyanna FTW. Huh? And at number four today, a happy man who gives the infamous Techno Viking a run for his money. Seems this fella just loves to dance, but we're guessing he's under the influence of something magical. Oh, like what, Olivia? Sunflowers. <laughs> It's awesome. This video has been brought to you by the United States Department of Health and Human Services, Substance Abuse, and Mental Health Services Administration. Yes. They want to remind you that May is Drug and Alcohol Awareness Month. And this year's spokes druggie is a sunflower dancer. He replaces last year's mascot, Hasselhoff, eating and vomiting a cheeseburger. Please make note of it. Hey, what's going on in your little circle over there? All right. <laughs> Today's number three item comes to us from Nashville, Tennessee's CBS affiliate, WTVF. 
That was my Nashville accent. I know. I gave up on it before I started. I know. <laughs> There's four letters. And it's funny. It's, it's, it's weird to watch you give up. Like, I have a dad like you. Yeah. It's in the Pereira genetics. We just give up on things right away. Hey, oh. Dad. <laughs> okay, so the area has come under a bit of inclement weather lately, but this clip proves thunderstorms and tornadoes aren't the only things raining down on the volunteer state blow-up of thunderstorms across Arkansas, where at least uh, three people were killed last night from tornadoes, and we're also going to likely see more storms develop in parts of Mississippi, and then those storms will, much like last night, move up to the north and the east, so we may well, uh, tomorrow, be dealing with a situation a lot like today. Uh, yeah. 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 Look, I understand, I understand it's funny, okay, but we... We may be laughing right now, but that is actually one of nature's most dangerous weather patterns. So just no. you know, laugh now, but realize no. that, that they're in danger. That is true. Woe is the community that must face the cumulodongus cloud. <laughs> <laughs> For it is a long storm front that brings many hardships. I was actually being serious. And the precipitation is really heavy. Oh. We get it. And hot. Get it. Got it. Like a sex storm. <laughs> that wasn't a sex tornado. I'm sorry about that. I apologize. That was unprofessional. What are you sniffing? What'd you smell? <laughs> My own vintage. <laughs> so today's number two item is an uh, sort of oh, creatine. Oh, just smells like burnt skin. <sighs> Bursting out of this baby gap, though. Is that your smedium? <laughs> yeah, it's a Garanimal smedium that smedium. I'm wearing today. He's in between stages. He's growing. I'm getting there. I'm a cruiser. And that when babies need things for balance, isn't that called cruising? Never mind. What happened while I was gone? I don't know. I found a sunflower and went to a rave, and now I'm a new man. <laughs> you know, things happen. Well, I, I'd like to move on to number two today. I because, would really like to move on to um, It's something that I think that you would actually really enjoy. Oh. It's, it's from an exercise program called Intimate Gymnastics. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. It's like a, a, like sensual yoga, right? That's the whole deal. Like you, uh, Each person sort of explores their own body and its relationship to their partners, and it gives you a stronger physical and emotional bond, right? Isn't that what it is, sensual yoga? Oh, yeah, it's close. Um, it's it's kind of like that, except for this one um, is, is more along the lines of women hanging weights out of their vaginas. <laughs> And the external ball goes up. Then I slowly, smoothly relax the walls of the vagina and the muscles and the ball goes down. The external ball goes up not very uh, much, but still you may see how it goes up. I guess, I guess that class won't be offered at many gyms, right? I mean, it's not going to... Depends on what gyms you go to. <laughs> curves? <laughs> do you go to curves, Kevin? <laughs> do you really? Do you really? You... Just for the it's... window dressing. <laughs> You're just in there jiggling your fat off. Can we, get, can we get a bucket filled with cement and you can do that by the end of the show? Because I bet you could take an entire painter's bucket. Yeah! That's what I believe in you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I believe you could that, shatter a boner is that a, with one kegel. Is that a <laughs> Is that a compliment to my vagina or are I, you disrespecting it? How could know. you take it any other way? That my vagina would shatter a penis on one what? One ke Oh, wow. We have a we have a lot to discuss during the commercial break. One kegel. No, I know what a kegel is. Well, hold on. I'm doing him. Okay, still ahead. St. Sanders returns in our number 1 around the net. Get through it, get through it. Come on, breathe. Here by Bon Jovi as you've never heard him before, so stick around, come on. Put the P in P90X. Got it. <laughs> There are a few internet wizards that don't have to wait in line to ride around the net. And St. Sanders, 
Dude's allowed to cut. He gets the cutsies. Mm -hmm. Really, he, he gets right on as soon as he posts a new video. And today at number one, The Saint destroys Bon Jovi's glam metal hit, Runaway, and it's surprisingly low budget video and resurrects them as Bung Holy's You. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but doesn't St. Sanders usually overdub worse performances on the videos? Because I think, I mean, that was a definite improvement. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is scientifically impossible to get any worse than actual Bon Jovi. There, I said it. Oh! I said oh. it. I said it. You it did, is, you did it's say it. It's actually worse. By the way, I love his song, Always. Oh, don't. Don't do this again. And I don't. will always love you forever. Okay. And always, and he's going to be there when the sun don't shine. And the heavens burst. Like, it's one thing to like Bon Jovi. It's another thing to really know the worst song they've ever done and then be proud of it. did you see it. the music video? It was so emotional. Carrie Russell was in it. And you're Folks, like, oh, that's just because publicity. Epic April she is gets over. Up, and then he's sleeping around and he gets caught because he's like, cheating on his girlfriend. Just because She walks in, she's like, what are you doing? I love you so much. Why are you cheating hey, on me? camera guy, you're like, only encouraging this crap. Hair. Stop with the slow push and cut to Pereira. Thank you. <laughs> now... Just because Epic... Oh, man. <laughs> you know, just because Epic April is over, it doesn't mean we still don't get unnecessarily angry about things. Right, Olivia? <laughs> That's right. And cut to the package, please. <laughs> Caper here with some amazing news. I'm ready to show off the secret project that I've been working on. So behold, my epic laser fingers! Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> now right now, two things are happening. Your pants are getting crapped into, and your brain is wondering, How can I get these laser fingers? <laughs> well, I'm not a D-bag, so I'm going to tell you. Now the first thing you should do is meet people who have yellow cake uranium. Now, if you're asking, but Kevin, why lasers? Well, first of all, shut up, you're dumb. But I'll tell you anyway. Finger lasers are awesome for home defense. Pew. Home entertainment. Pew. And it's kind of like a bug zapper for ladies. Pew. I mean, they can't resist when you're shooting lasers at you. Pew. Both figuratively and literally. Look, I'm a man dazzler. Finger lasers. Pew. Pew. Yeah, get them. Or have your monies and your women stolen by a man who has them. This has been fun. Not just limited to the fingers, by the way. Not just limited to the fingers. What is wrong with you today? What is right with me? Everywhere. What? Huh? <laughs> hey, um, you know, you know, this weekend it's it's time to celebrate your mother. You yeah, know, it's Mother's and, Day weekend. And don't just send a card. You can send fun photos right from your phone, right to your mom's frame. And accidental sexy pics. Oops. Uh. The hardest part of owning a digital picture frame is actually keeping your pictures up to date, which is why Isabella created the Visit Frame. Since it's always wirelessly connected, you can email and upload photos to the frame from your computer or message them directly from your cell phone. Employing a 10.4-inch touchscreen, it's easy enough for your mom to use, and all for 280 bucks plus a monthly fee. As digital picture frames go, uh, this one actually is actually a pretty good size. Uh, right here, it's a 10.4 inch screen resolution of 800 by 600. Mm -hmm. The entire thing is also touch sensitive, so there are no remotes or buttons. <laughs> or touch not so sensitive, but you can touch the screen, and sometimes stuff happens. Look, look at something happening. Hey, there we go. Um, 
Is it really enough for your mom to use? <laughs> if your mom Is has really hammers for, for hands, use? yes. If she has <laughs> giant hands right, we're where just her touching it wrong. We're touching it upside down. Really work no, no, no. Like Listen, here. The thing, the, the touch screen oh, that we fine. have here, honestly, it's a beta version. So you really have to tap hard to use it. That's not a joke. The production ready version, though, will have a resistive touch screen. So theoretically, should work much better. Um, I have an issue with the interface. I think it's kind of slow and a little clunky. It is definitely self explanatory. Um, but you, you do have to get into it and use it. You won't have to dive into menus to change a lot of settings, mostly because there ain't a lot of settings on it. Uh, but when you take it out of the box, it will work right off the bat. Now, as for the resolution, you mentioned it's 800 by 600. That is an issue. It does have trouble scaling some pictures to fit the screen well. And it doesn't look great when displaying really, really high-res photos, again, because of its resolution. Mm -hmm. Overall, though, it gets the job done. I mean, I gave my mom a digital photo frame a couple years ago, and that led to... I, I thought I was like Dell tech support every five minutes with the... Ah. Uh, well, I don't know how to get more thought. I don't know how to... Uh, oh, no, like, yeah, every five seconds. Okay, well, the unique thing about Love the visit... You, mom. Is that um, oh. it's always it's always wirelessly connected to AT and T network. Yes, uh, that means you can uh, picture message or email photos at any time to the frame, uh, which is good. But uh, how do you actually determine which photos come up on your mom's frame? Um, good question. It's actually all done through visitme.com, which is their mm -hmm. web portal. Um, each frame has its own email address, so you can MMS or email or just upload it directly <laughs> to the Visit Me site. Um, and the good thing is there's permissions uh, on the photo, so you have to actually invite people that you want to send pictures to your frame. Because I immediately was like, oh. I'm going to just lemon party all my friends that have these. But they have to give me permission to put that filth on their screen. Um, not just anyone can do it. But once pictures are sent, you do most of the maintenance from the site. So if you want to change the display order, you have to make different albums uh, or for groups of photos. You can't just move them around, which I thought, for a frame that's kind of aimed at, at moms, uh, that's, <laughs> that's a bit of a chore for them to log onto a website and do something. Uh, the frame holds 150 pictures at one time, but the site can hold thousands, so you can go in there and then shuffle through them. Um, you can even send pictures directly from your frame to your friends over 3G, which is nice. Um, you know, the benefit to going 3G, obviously, is that it's always on in there and there's no what's a, what's a Wi-Fi and how do I set it up, mom? No, it's Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and you're never going to figure it out, so let it go. This, uh, you don't have that problem. Uh, so it has the, uh, the SD card reader and the USB slot. Mm -hmm. So in case you, you hit your 150 photo reach, uh, does, it, does it work like normal? Like you just can do it? No, not at all. Oh. That makes sense. Uh, it will read your photos, but it doesn't scale them to fit the screen. And, and we are sort of assuming that this will be fixed in a software update. But right now, it definitely does not work as intended. So, that sucks. Uh, but the beauty is they can update it over the air, which is nice. And it lets you know when you have like a new photo. that should be something that should just be done. Like, it's going to be like, th we should get that right. That's sort of, yeah, like a the revision standard. one thing. Someone should have plugged it in and gone, oh, it should do that. Because that's the first thing we did. Well, here's the thing. It's, it's 280 bucks mm -hmm. uh, plus a $6 monthly fee, which allows you to send 100 photos a month. Right. So... All that together, what are we rating it? At that price, like, you can't put a price on your mom not annoying you every five seconds because she can't figure out her picture frame. So we're going to give it three out of five. Um, it's, it is because super it's easy. Good. Well, yeah, it's super easy to use, and you plug it in, and you can start sending photos. With that said, there's still some major details that need to be worked out. And for that price, the data plan, six months a month, it should be all-you-can-eat data. I mean, yeah, you should be able to send as many photos lot. as you want. But, um, again, it doesn't feel complete right now, but don't tell your mom that, and she'll be fine. She won't know the difference. Oh, oh he really cares! No. Oh, uh, that's it for Gadgetron. <laughs> you know, your mom can hear you. She watches the show. <laughs> Remember, for even more of the latest news on computers and tech, check out g4tv.com slash the feed. Still ahead, Allison went to Honda's R&D labs to test out a prototype of their Segway killer. Yes, and later, Jorge Garcia from Lost. Hey. We'll be here live in studio. Stick around, everybody. <laughs> Ah, the age-old tale of the skater in the rail. What happens next? Does he make it across but wipe out at the last second? Does he slip and nut himself? Or does he trip and fall face first into the rail? Find out when we return. The age-old tale of the skater in the rail. What happens next? Does he make it across but wipe out at the last second? Does he slip and nut himself? Or does he trip and fall face first into the rail? Ah, rollerbladers. Will they ever learn? We are live, everybody.
everybody, and about to get some information. Here's Kristen Adams. Hey, Adams. So technically, he did B and C. He fell and on his face, right? I wasn't paying attention. Was there dual I was answers? tweeting. I'm sorry. What did I miss? Am I the only one watching? Was that the something show? on this show? Yeah. Was, oh. All right. Anyways, it's time to start the feed. My bad. <laughs> The last time I ever do something spontaneous again on this show. <laughs> it's Tuesday, May 4th, and here are your top stories. Audiences who go see Iron Man 2 this weekend won't just get a secret bonus scene after the film's end credits. They'll also get the first look at a top-secret new J.J. Abrams movie during the previews. The website HitFix is reporting that Abrams will debut a teaser he directed for a new film tentatively titled Super 8. And amazingly, no one's heard anything about it except that it's rumored to be a Cloverfield prequel or sequel, and the teaser could be a viral clip similar to the one that launched the first Cloverfield back in 2008. Though no one knows but Abrams for sure. Either way, we have yet another reason to go see the Iron Man sequel. In an attempt to dodge a potential FTC antitrust investigation, Apple may be forced to make nice with Adobe. The Federal Trade Commission was poised to hammer Steve Jobs' company because of the new iPhone 4.0's restrictive SDK developer agreement. Under the current agreement, third-party app developers could only use Apple's tools to make new apps, and that doesn't sit well with the FTC. Now, though, it looks like the government will back off as long as developers are allowed to use other tools like Flash to make the shiny new iPad and iPhone apps. Seeing as Steve Jobs was recently ranting about how awful Flash is on Apple's blog, this could get very interesting. The 14th annual... That's funny. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that was spontaneous, too. The 14th annual Webby Award winners have been announced. The Webbies honor online achievements, and this year several prominent media figures were among the big winners. Roger Ebert won Webby Person of the Year for his blog. OK Go nabbed the Webby for Film and Video Artist of the Year, likely due to their amazingly complicated new video for This Too Shall Pass. And actress Amy Poehler won Best Actress on her online series, Smart Girls at the Party. A full list of winners and nominees can be found at webbyawards.com. And finally, forget about the petabyte and the gigabyte. According to a survey done by a technology consulting firm called IDC, the world's total digital output will soon pass 1.2 zettabytes. And since a zettabyte is equal to 1 million petabytes, well, my brain hurts just thinking about it. So what's the cause of this massive expansion in online output? Turns out it's people uploading photos and videos to Flickr, YouTube, and social networking sites like Facebook. That's a lot of pictures of cats. I'm just saying. <laughs> and Kristen Adams, what am I saying? I'm Kristen Adams, and you've just been fed. Peace out. Oh! <laughs> that, my friends, is called swagger. <laughs> Note. And we want to know about new movies on watchable discs. We light up the gore signal. You know what that is? Stevie Doo's Day. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. First DVD. Uh, we have The Descent Part 2. Now, people uh, love the first Descent movie, uh, so sequels are usually harder. What do you think? Well, sequ you know, not all sequels suck. Empire Strikes Back, Godfather 2, Aliens, on and on. There are great sequels out there. Three Men and a Little Lady. Three Men and a Little Lady. Unfortunately, oh this is one on the bad side. Yeah, this yeah. is this. I, yes, I, I'm sorry to say, it just does not just hold sent. up to the. I mean, it's basically a rehash of the first with much better lighting, which oddly uh. makes it less scary. The whole uh. point is you couldn't see the crawlers, so they were scary. You kind of heard them. Right. That sense of claustrophobia that made this first one so good is absent completely. Well, is there anything that stands out on special features? Uh, no. No, okay. there's a commentary that, uh, well, and, and a little behind the scenes. Right now? What, what's your, you're say, what are you saying? Before well, you can see where I'm going with this. You can see you can where I'm going. You say pass, move on. Yeah, I'm going to say pass and move on. All right, on. let's live our life. Yes. Let's continue with our life. Let's pass. What's up next? Survivors, the complete season one and two. Yeah, this was, um, this is a BBC, um, thing that, uh, like now our TV junkies around the office have actually never heard about the show. Right. Uh, so what's it about? It's a horror? Yeah, well, it's, it's basically about uh, a, a flu virus that breaks out and kills more than 90% of the world's population. Why does it always happen in, in like, um, in like London? I, in London? I don't know. The accents are fun. I, it it yeah. works. But what's, but what's interesting is they try and survive, uh, post this apocalypse. It's like a zombie apocalypse movie without the zombies. So people are trying just to, trying to just to get lately. by. 
Everyone and it's, and it's, it's really exciting. In a lot of ways, it's a lot like Lost because there's a larger mystery going on that it may have been a man-made virus. Uh -huh. And, of course, the new Doctor Who, uh, if you've been watching Doctor Who, I have not. I'm waiting till it comes out on DVD. Um, surprise. Like to I like thing, to watch the whole thing at one time. I'm very impatient. I want <laughs> next disc. Let's go. Well, Survivors, um, so the, the show is good. The series is good. So then the, is there anything that rounds out the whole collection? Well, the drag is there's not a lot of extras. Uh, you know, the only BBC discs that really get good treatment, there's some behind the scenes, but the the, the Doctor Who discs. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of special features on all of those. Um, the other BBC series kind of gets stiffed, I think, when it comes to that stuff. All right. But uh, but Fox. such a great series. Man. I watched every on, episode. On Survivors, what's bottom line? The bottom line is must rent. Don't just rent it. <laughs> Seek it out. Find it. you love it. Now, there have been a lot of uh, catalog titles coming out on Blu-ray recently. Right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you 42 seconds because... 42. Um, it's my all right to do that. Uh, it's the old rapid fire clock. And yes. Tells about as many of them as you can. Headlights. So ready? And yes. Go. Go. First, we've got we got Nightmare on Elm Street. It's got two commentaries, three alternate endings, including scary ending, Freddy ending, and happy ending. Make of that what you will. Saving Private Ryan, best World War II movie ever. The second disc Did is all special features. Him? It's fantastic. You got to see it. Dune. Okay, this is what I would call an admirable failure. It's fun, and also, why has Toto never done another musical score since this movie? Toto, write another musical score. Traffic. Okay, this is smart. You got the standard def and Blu-ray on one disc. They should have started. You know what? How about firmware update? If you had firmware update, then people could play Avatar. Uh, rock, if you're Rock and Roll High School, if you're a must own, if you're a Ramones fan, the new audio commentary, Minority Report, accurately predicted iPads. Souped up the, the rapid fire box just for today. The guy the lights up. The guy I lost my virginity to cried during this movie. Really? Fun fact. Sad. Hey guys. Uh, thanks, Chris. Follow him on Twitter at that Chris Gore. Right now, let's see what Kevin's up to. Come, what's what's the matter? I thought you were a virgin. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every one of those movies she's banged somebody in. Hey, stay tuned. <laughs> I see a dead guy who sees dead people. Jorge Garcia from Lost will be here live in a few minutes. Stick around. From Hollywood to Bollywood. Baba Vekalamro. Geek Goddess. Humble Kisho. Uh, Lost is almost over, and I'm with a guy who knows how it all ends, so let's see what I can get out about the final hours. Ladies and gentlemen, Jorge Garcia! Yeah! How are you, sir? I'm doing well. I know, um... It's, you know, interviewing people on Lost is like getting blood from a stone. The, you, I know you can't say anything and you won't, but there's only, what, what five hours of Lost left, I think, in total. Um, there is an episode tonight. You can check my math on that. I'm probably right. wrong. I sort of just made that up. I picked the number. Sounded right. Right. There is but an episode tonight. What Can you t give us a, a teaser? Oh, Not to spoil the, anything. Tonight? Oh, it's a lot of death. <laughs> a lot of death. I can never tell if people from Lost are screwing with me. No, so, no, no. There really is a lot. Of, now they're it's just like, like now, yeah, now, exactly. Now that it's um, you know, we're approaching the end, they can just start clearing out the characters. You know? <laughs> Let's it's get like, the wardrobe you know, sale oh, going early. Oh, you think there's going to be a Lost movie? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that concerns me because we've noticed that when people come on this show, we are where I said it in a couple interviews back. Like uh, this is where. Uh, careers go to end. You know, like this is where yeah. characters go to die. It's true. Wow. I mean, look at uh, Anil, Annie Wershing, Sorry, 24 fans, Katie Sackhoff. Um, that, that is just the recent Deadpool. We could have gone back. Are you, are you worried about tonight? Should you be worried about tonight? I mean, it is funny that you didn't bring it up until I was already here. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a reason we don't pre-interview sometimes on this show. <laughs> Your publicist didn't give you a heads up that we had a Deadpool a graphic. Dead, no. Oh. no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, welcome to Attack, Jorge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Especially, yeah, that you have a graphic for it. <laughs> yeah. like, um... I, thought you, I thought you gave us photo approval for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hear you're actually more excited about ne next week's episode. 
I'm really excited about next episode. It's a great. It's it's like an origin story on par of Abbott Turno, which was the Richard Alpert origin story. And it's, are you in it? Do you do you survive till next week? Um, I'm not in that episode. But that doesn't necessarily mean that our Deadpool's correct. That Does just not means... necessarily mean. Okay. Wait, have you had the dog on this show? <laughs> oh. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys have been wrapped for what? Like like two weeks now? I think. Like ten days. Oh, is it, oh, it's been ten days. Yeah. What was that? I know you can't. I'm not going to ask you how it ends. That's the that's the question. But when it did end, what happened? Like, did someone yell, "All right, that's a wrap," and craft services lady starts crying and the dogs crying? Or I mean, like, what what was the, well, the moment when we knew it was done? Well, like, for me. I started on that last day at like 9.30 in the morning, but I didn't finish till about 5.30 in the morning the next day. Oh, wow. So, so we you were, were all exhausted at yeah. the end. <laughs> that it was almost like, I'm just too tired to cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got nothing left yeah. to give. So I'll go cry at the rap party later tonight. Is the rap party tonight? Or you no, mean it was no, the no. rap party that, that night? night. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And no, were there, yes, were there many tears all. or were people Not like, all me. right, it's done? Like, I, I, I don't know why. I, maybe I'm in denial. Maybe it won't hit me till I'm finally getting on the plane to come to L.A. I don't, I don't really know. That'll be the come down. Yeah. In, in first yeah. class. Sitting like on, now I got no job. And I'm just in <laughs> God, I'm just lost. Aw, these warm nuts aren't even worth it. Throw it at a stewardess. <laughs> That's what I do. Just throw things at the help. It's fine. Um, five to ten years from now, when the tell-all blog or book comes out about Lost, will we hear stories of... So and so was notorious for flipping tables or punching interns. Like, will there, or will it be like, oh no, no, it was a happy set, happy cast. I mean, you're in Hawaii. Um, I don't know. You're not gonna hear it from me, but um, I don't know. Right, but does that that doesn't negate the fact that it could have existed? Like, how was it? You think it's gonna is it gonna go down in the history of television as a as a happy cast, a happy family? Or are we gonna get the E True Hollywood story where we black and white all the behind the scenes footage? I, I you know, it, it wasn't perfect. <laughs> All right. But I mean, that's you know, I'm not gonna. That, I was waiting for I'm, three publicists listen, to repel listen, from the I roof. I love everybody. <laughs> I get along with everybody. I had no issue myself, but um, you know, you other, were you were too people. busy playing Plants vs Zombies to notice the onset struggles, right? Yeah, especially now that it appeared on the iPhone. has been playing it quite. Are a you bit. addicted? <laughs> Yeah, and there's all new achievements to get on it, too. <laughs> and if you go scroll down all the way to the achievements, you end up in China. Did you know that? What? No. <laughs> With Chinese zombies. Um, how accomplished do you think you'll feel after you achieve all of those things? Well, I've achieved them already. And how, and how accomplished do you feel? Hmm. Say a little bit better than lost. <laughs> all right. That's a, that's a pretty good feeling. Jorge, always a pleasure, sir. Thanks. Uh, please come back on with me when you pick the next one. Okay, cool. And no tears shed after the wrap. Right. No tears. Uh, you guys lost airs tonight. You knew that. It's Jorge Garcia. And now, it's Olivia Munn. Thanks, Kev. Okay, if you want to ride around on a Segway, you'd better either you know, be Steve Wozniak or Paul Blart, which, by the way, great movie. But if you're looking for a better personal transportation device and are too good for a bicycle, maybe you'd be interested in the new Honda UX3. Hmm. I'm here at a secret location, Torrance, California, where Honda's research and development takes place to get one of the first hands-on, or should I say butt-on, test runs of the new U3X personal mobility device. Why are they calling this the Segway Killer? Well, this is a future mobility device uh, designed by Honda. It's still in a research phase. I don't know if you're familiar with the Ashimo robot. They use the balance control technology. How long does the battery last? About one hour. And how fast does it go? Just under four miles per hour. We envision that people might find this useful in like a museum or the airport. convention hall floor, like, like Comic-Con. Right. I'm just picturing like an overweight Batman cruising through <laughs> <laughs> one of these. So I'm tired of standing. I'm going to sit on it. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. How much weight does it hold? Will it hold me? It certainly will. It'll hold about 220 pounds. How do you actually move this thing? Right now I feel like I'm just kind of... Okay. So if you want to go forward, you just lean your shoulders forward. There you go. Ooh. And the more you, the, faster you, the more you lean, the faster you'll go. Charm! 
charge. <laughs> with its robot balancing control technology combined with a unique wheel mechanism design, Honda aims to provide the user with freedom of movement in any direction. I feel like I'm kind of not doing anything, but doing everything. Is that really deep? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, take me on a tour. We're going on a... Woo! I feel like I'm in the ice capades now. <laughs> I'm going to race him to the wall. On your mark, get set, go. I'm going to win! I'm going to win! <laughs> yes! There's no cheating. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> The completely mobile Honda U3X promises to make walking a thing of the past. Now, if I could just get this thing on a treadmill, the gym would fly by. Well, I'm actually really glad that Allison made it out of that segment in one piece. I was afraid. Mm -hmm. I only trust transportation that surrounds me in, like, tons of solid steel and multiple airbags or barring that human shields. Yeah. I mean, oh. anything. But, hey, guess what? What? It's promo time, everybody! Yay! Get on the promo Thank pony and ride! On June 3rd, G4 is going to kick your ass when Allison Hayslip and Weston Scott take on Tomorrow's Warriors. Yeah! It's a new special that breaks down the science of modern warfare. Not the video game. I mean, actually, pew pew, the real modern gardens. warfare. Yeah. So check out G4TV.com slash Tomorrow's Warrior for your deployment orders. Hmm. See what you did there. You, you themed it militarily. So your mom gave birth to you. So you should get her something awesome. It's time to attack these Mother's Day gift ideas. Your mom's been washing your dirty ass clothes for your entire life. Why not make it a little easier on her with the Clawtronic mini washing machine, huh? But that one, this little guy, look at it, holds 13 liters of water and is perfect for uber small loads or for washing your delicate silk boxers. Just pop in soiled garments with some detergent and it's done in 15 minutes. Trust us, she'll appreciate every little bit of help she can get. Head to Clawtronic.de and pick up one for about $60. I'm glad you guys are happy with that. So if your mom's been holding on to her ancient collection of vinyl 45s, it's time to bring her into the 21st century. Let her listen to her old Beach Boy albums, if that's what she's listening to, or Gai Hong Lao, if you're my mom, on the go with the Crosley Revolution. This portable record player runs on AA batteries, sports two headphone jacks, stereo speakers, and two playback speeds. It also houses a USB hookup for analog to digital transfers. You probably have to you know, help her with the whole USB aspect, but it's totally worth it. Pick up this music machine for $150 at CrosleyRadio.com. And finally, once you get your mother off analog music, don't let her walk around looking all emo kid with music buds in her ears and stuff. Class up her audio experience at Horizontal51.de with the Horizontal 51 iPod dock. It's designed to look and act like a shell. This dock sits inconspicuously on the wall. It sports a minimalist design with only the dock, two speakers, and an auxiliary out, but can actually hold up to 55 pounds of weight. So it's perfect for your mom's laundry room, where she'll be washing your clothes in the mini washer. You guys see how that all ties in together? Make your mom an audio file for $660. Head on over to g4tv.com slash AOTS for info on all these gift ideas and more. Today's epic fail, women on water. Yeah, throwing them a life preserver, it just it doesn't work. I'm going to show you why. But first, let's find out who won yesterday's epic giveaway. Yesterday's epic giveaway was this prop replica of a phaser rifle from the original Star Trek series provided by Roddenberry.com. And the winner is David B. of Makakilo, Hawaii. Congratulations, and watch for more epic giveaways coming soon. Today's road report is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Call GEICO at 1-800-947-AUTO or visit GEICO.com. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow on an all-new AOTS, X-Play's Morgan Webb returns with Halo Reach in an all-new Game Break. Then we return to Jeremy's Dragon Corner to hear our resident experts' thoughts about Dragon Ball Z. And Chris Hardwick is back with more Mother's Day gifts on Gadgetron. This time, it's the Barnes & Noble Nook e-reader. See it tomorrow. Uh, my FHM UK hitting stand soon. Oh, go forth, enjoy. 
Yeah. Can you only get it in the UK? Or? And by the way, can I just say, when you call me Iron Man Secret Weapon, when I said it was a cameo, that's, that's, cameo doesn't mean I'm a secret weapon. I've turned into like the Brando in Superman. Like, this <laughs> it's like... Cameo is just a cameo, people. But um, Kevin, you. I milked the hero's appearance for all it was worth. So yeah. I mean, go for it. That's true. Um, you yeah, should. I don't want. I don't. I don't normally like to, you know, plug stuff on the show. But more stuff. oh yeah, no, you, it's a really, There's really a good spread in there. Spreads, lots of. And the photos are know. good too. Hello. Oh. <laughs> well, what's yours? Um, I just what's want to promote I, my circular for the Pasadena Fudge Hut. Um, is going on my blog right now. It's Kevin Price, Pasadena Fudge Hut. Get fudging. So. Um, you have a fudge hut? Yeah, yeah, if you just want to hear, why don't you, you just give those out of your next little appearance? You know, a couple of fudge huts. Um, it's a pretty big deal for me, guys. So, yeah. thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Fudge hut. So, it's time for today's second epic fail. What? There's nothing like a soothing boat ride in the. Come on, what's the matter? Don't with that sad face. I just want to get fudging. <laughs> Oh, Kevin. Yes, there's nothing like a soothing boat ride in the canals of Holland. Well, until you try to get back on a dry land. Legend. Wheels segment. We need to start a new one called Women on Water. Oh. And it starts now. Fail those gals. Do it. <laughs> Getting a like a buzzing in my forehead, which either means uh, it's a tumor or uh, the Twitter wall is ready to be read. It's one yes. of the two. It's a Twitter wall. Hey. Oh, He's thank saying, God. Is that God. what's wrong with Kevin? He ha He's had too much fudge. You can never have too much fudge. Come on down to Kevin Perez, passing in a fudge hut, and get fudging. <laughs> get fudging is now a meme. Yay. Is that just how sad you are about your career? That's what, Yeah, that's, that's me contemplating everything that is my life. Um, and somehow I got a little fudge head, uh, the fudge on the forehead there. How do you eat your fudge? How do you eat fudge? Well, there's no wrong way to eat fudge, Olivia. I think it's wrong if you're eating it through your forehead. Thanks to Jorge Garcia. Um, we apologize if the AOTS curse uh, claims you as well. But you know what? You shouldn't have come on the show. There That's you go. What you do. But that'd be a lesson to any celebrity. Do not come on this show. Also, ever. thank you to Chris Thor. Thanks, play starts right now. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Fudge Get a jam.